Hi friends, good day. Welcome to today on Princess Anu TV. Hope you all are doing fine and great and good. So this is day two. <laughs> yeah, we are pushing it. So today we are going to be talking about how to write a letter for financial assistance, a letter for sponsorship, requesting for sponsorship, a letter for a job application, a letter, just an in like a formal letter, not an informal letter. Don't get me twisted how to write a formal letter because it's a formal letter you are going to use to apply for a job to apply for financial assistance to apply for any of these things that you're not talking to people that you know in close like maybe your dad your uncle and all that people that are you know top positions and that are you don't basically know so they are formal letters and it has to be as formal as possible just in case you're new to this channel and you don't know me oh sh Oh, she just see my face for the first time. <laughs> Welcome to Princess Anu TV. On this channel, we talk about aviation, motivation, and adventure. If you've not subscribed, do me that favor. Click on the subscribe button. It's the red button just somewhere around. Just click on it so that you don't miss any videos that are going to be coming up. So we're going to start with how to write a formal letter. I would like you to get your pen and your paper. I always have a pen close by and a jotter. Yeah, a pen and a jotter always close by. So... The thing about it is that you need the first part is going to be the address and i'm going to be showing you you just follow me through on the screen you need to have your own address and the sender's address now this is actually how you write it the person's your own address is going to be at the top okay if this is going to be the the paper facing you because people actually misquote a lot of things they put the same the the sender's address and the receiver's address at the same side that's not how to write a formal letter you put if the paper is facing you i don't want to use left and right because this is camera view you might be seeing it in reverse you might be seeing it in a mirror view so if the paper is actually facing you like you have the paper just in front of you the paper is face, is facing you you have the paper in front of you like this so you're going to be having the left side and the right side your own address which is the sender's address is going to be at the top right corner so at the top right corner you're going to be having your address so this is at the top right corner now like i said this paper has to be facing you how you put it down then after your own address you're going to leave a line or like a little space and you're going to put the receiver's address next which is going to be below uh, uh not like at the left hand side downward that's where you're going to have the receiver's address so immediately you have the receiver's address the next thing you're going to have is dear sir i will always prefer you to leave it as dear sir the reason why i would prefer you to leave it as dear sir is because most of the people it's it's not going to be like sama you can put summer but it's best to leave it as sir because even if most organizations always it's just like you say chairman there's no chairwoman <laughs> if you get what i'm trying to say yes you might be talking to a, a a male or you might be talking to a female but at the same time for official purposes it's best to leave it as dear sir so the next thing you're going to have in is dear sir after the dear sir you're going to now have a part where you put your heading i'm going to give an example i'm going to write one i'm going to show you how to, how this is done just like show you a, a rough example so you're going to have application for job or application for financial assistance or request for financial assistance that is what is going to be the sub topic of your letter that's what's going to be here as a subtopic of your letter and if you want if you're doing like a job application i would advise you to always have a prototype on your phone because most of the time they want you to send it as a mail most of the time they want you to put it in a word document these are some things that you have to be conversant with these are some things that you have to write already like have a prototype on your notepad i in fact currently i have like for job application i have like a prototype on my phone so that whenever they say send an application to this company immediately i don't waste time immediately i send it that's what i do so you always need to have a prototype on your phone then based on the company you are now going to be editing it from time to time like now if what you're going to have written for this company will not be different from what you're writing for this company you want to twist it up a little bit because maybe this company started two years ago this company has started like over 20 years and you're now talking about the fact that based on your wealth of experience this company just started two years ago their wealth of experience is not the same thing as someone that started 20 years ago so you cannot put in your application that based on their wealth of experience because they are just going to see that this person is trying to 
this person just maybe copied something if you get what i'm trying to say so if it's a financial assistance letter what you're going to be sending to maybe a minister where you're going to be writing to a um maybe ministry of women affairs is not what you're going to be writing to maybe the governor or maybe a senator in a particular geopolitical uh, zone or something like that so these are some things that you need to consider so you need to always have a prototype on your device so from that prototype it's not when they say send a letter that you will now start trying to crack your brain let me tell you the truth if they say send something now your brain at that time is under pressure so it might just not want to function well i don't want to use the one on one to function well but i think the best thing i can say is it will not be able to produce as much results than when you are calm just thinking about okay what if they ask me to send a letter what am i going to write what am i going to do if you get what i'm trying to say so always have a protect on your phone of what you want to write and this letter will have different places the first paragraph should be you explaining yourself that's how it should be the first paragraph should be you i am princess anu from so so village in so so place i am so so age then uh i uh, i've really i've heard about you in so so and so you know that kind of stuff that's how the first line is going to be the second line is going to be you talking about who, that organization oh i've heard that people have sponsored a lot of people you people support people you know praising them giving them you know then after the first line next line is now going to be about what you want make it short and simple because most of these big men that carry these stuff to read or big women or big organizations the people reading it don't have the luxury of time to be reading plenty of stories go straight to the point and you're going straight to the point tell them exactly what your sponsorship is for or what you are requesting for you tell them that i'm requesting for social thing to be able to achieve this i'm requesting for social amount to be able to achieve this in so so duration your duration must be there what you hope to achieve and how you hope to give back i'm telling you it's very important for you to put because everybody wants to know what is in it for them nobody just wants to give you money for you to just go and squander it or for you to okay yes okay why must i train you why can't i train five other persons why can't i use that money to train 10 other persons why must it be you that i will have to train with this available resource so you have to make them see reasons why you are the one that they have to choose so you have to make your words as convincing as possible saying that you hope to give back this and this when you have achieved the purpose if you can give me maybe i need 10 million era to go into this venture this 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 uh, college or this school is going to last for two or three years after three years this is what i'm going to achieve after that three years when i've achieved this and i started my career i will have the opportunity to give back this and this and this to my government to my state to the people around me and also when they look at it they're like okay i think this is not going to be a wasted effort i think this is not going to be a wasted uh, uh venture let us venture let us go into it so guys these are some things then after that the next thing you're going to put is the your name which is going to be at the lower part directly are still at the left hand side this time around at the left at the left hand side you know you put the receiver's address um the receiver's address at this side that's what you put here yes going to be the sender's address then at this at this part you are now going to put your name your signature your signature will be here and oh i always advise people to put you know your uh, correction you're going to put yours faithfully or yours sincerely at this part you're not going to put your signature and your name then i always advise people to put their phone numbers the reason why you have to put your phone number is if they want to contact you they will be able to reach you so uh these are just a few things i needed to chip in i know i've made a video similar to this before now but i needed to make this video again for people that are not conversant with this process on how to write uh, a formal letter so i hope this video has helped you if it has do well to give this video a thumbs up if you've not subscribed do well to subscribe till i see you next time on the same channel keep watching with us on the tv bye guys mm -hmm.